All right, my friends. <clears throat> Here's the bottom line, is that I believe in you and you matter to me and you matter to everyone. I understand that when you're suffering from skin disease, when you have dermatitis or eczema, or rosacea, or psoriasis, it negatively affects your entire life, your love life, your work life, your social life, going to school, going to work, your relationships with your family members. And adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle, cleansing and detoxing can take you into a place where you feel really lonely. But I wanna tell you guys, it's so worth it. And you matter. You are a good person. You deserve to feel health. You deserve to feel abundance. You deserve to feel love. So give yourself this gift of healing your skin. Allow the other people in your life to slowly understand what you're doing and to support you, but focus on yourself. Focus on your healing. Give yourself the time you need, the love you need to make this happen for yourself. Um, I love you guys and I'm gonna get to today's video. What is going on my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the difference or actually compare or actually just let you know which one I think is better. Salt flushes or enemas, should you be doing both? Should you be doing one more than the other if you're trying to naturally reverse skin disease like eczema, dermatitis, rosacea, psoriasis, all that stuff. I've had a lot of experience doing hundreds and hundreds of salt flushes and hundreds and hundreds of organic coffee enemas. They both have their really awesome benefits, but they're slightly different. So I wanna cover that topic in today's video. So first off, you gotta understand the difference between both of them. Now, in my opinion and in my research and in my experience, the salt flush is going to focus more on the intestines, small large intestine, and the coffee enema is gonna focus more on cleansing the colon and the liver. So they kinda do two totally separate things, but people like to mush them together into one category for some reason. Now, in my opinion, it's a little bit more important to focus on the kidney, the liver, and the lymphatic system when trying to overcome skin disease. So in one way, it's a little bit more important to focus on doing coffee enemas. But there's so many of you guys out there, especially the men, who are really fearful of doing coffee enemas because of the private, intimate nature and of course putting something up your butt for most men is not what you want to do but let me let me break it down in this way the object that you put in your butt is smaller than the size of your poop most time most of the time so it's really not that big of a deal sorry for all the noise you guys i'm in manhattan it's just crazy loud out here i don't have my proper lighting with me so i can't shoot indoors so i'm shooting out on the balcony today the reason why I suggest that enemas are slightly better is due to that ability that it focuses on cleansing the liver. And the way that the, the enema works, not to get too scientific, is when you take coffee up your butt rectally, um, it interacts with the liver in a very alchemistic way. It helps the, the liver cleanse itself, release bile and toxins, and just boom, flushes it out through the evacuation center, which is the poop, boom. And when you do a salt flush, you're drinking the salt water, so it goes all the way through, you know, your esophagus, your stomach, your guts, your small and large intestine, your, it goes through everything. And both of them do a similar thing in this respect. They both have kind of a granule soft water that brushes and kind of helps knock out mucoid and mucus plaque, so both of them, in my opinion, do a good job at doing that. So they're about equal when it comes to helping with mucus and kind of being a gentle cleanser of the intestines. Um, where I give the advantage to salt flushes is that 
they're really fast and they're really easy to do. You put the salt in the water, you drink it down, you wait a little bit, you go to the bathroom, you go on with your day. Now, here's another reason why I give the nod or I put some points in favor of coffee enemas. 90% um, of the people that I work with who do coffee enemas never ever experience anything except feeling cleaned out, feeling super light, feeling a lot of energy and kind of feeling euphoric and feeling really awesome. This is not the case with salt flushes. Many people, and I mean like 50% of the people that I work with who are doing salt flushes feel absolutely horrible from them. They feel nauseous, they feel a little bit sick, and it's just simply not fun. Now if this is you, if you're one of the people that does do a salt flush and you just feel like crap, there's a couple things that you can do. You can um, change the temperature of the water. If you tried it cold, try it room temperature. If you tried it room temperature, try it warm or cold. Sometimes that helps majorly. Number two, try a different type of sea salt. So if you do a salt flush and you either feel really, really sick or you just don't go to the bathroom, switch up your sea salt. Also, give it another try. If you do a salt flush and you don't feel good, just try it again. Sometimes the heavy metal detoxing nature of the salt flush can just stir up sickness, can stir up kind of a, a horrible feeling in the body. Now, in terms of heavy metal detoxing and cleansing, I will give the upper hand to salt flushes because they do a much better job at cleaning out the heavy metals. Um, both of them are awesome and they should be utilized in coordination with other things like juice cleansing, water fasting, um, a very healthy diet. So the, the bottom line is they're both very important to use. They're both really good for cleansing. You can obviously gravitate towards one or the other, but if I was to choose just one to, to use as my primary cleansing tool for overcoming skin disease, I would choose 100% organic coffee enemas. I'm just saying that if I had to pick one, if I were to give the upper hand to one, it would be enemas for sure, 100%. So here's my advice. If you're only gonna use one, use enemas. But if you can, try out both. Use both in your healing process. I still do to this day. Most of my clients use both. And I think that using both is a highly effective tool for reversing skin disease. Here's another thing. I get this question a lot, and so I'll answer it on this video right now. I do not recommend doing a salt flush and a coffee, uh, coffee enema on the same day. Now you can do on Monday a coffee enema and on Tuesday a salt flush. Um, that is totally fine. If you guys want me to shoot a video on the specifics of how many coffee enemas and how many salt flushes you can do per month safely and what works really great, like what's the best amount to do and how many can you do, leave me a comment and question down below letting me know you want to see that video and I'll, I'll shoot it for you guys in the very near future. Remember, if you're new to this channel, subscribe and share, hit that notification button. And if you're looking to get a hold of me to become one of my private clients, there's a link in the description box. Also, remember to hit me up on the Instagram. It's Stuart Rob Stewart. I'm putting a lot of stuff up there almost on a daily basis. Recipes, lifestyle tips, inspiration. It's a good way for us to connect. You can leave comments, you can follow me, you can like, and we can keep your health moving in the right direction direction. That's going to be it today, guys. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace. I love you much.